Hi, my name is Susan Asheford. I'm the designer and creator of Sugar Snap Jewelry Kits. Today, I'm introducing a brand new kit that I'm very, very proud to unveil. It's the Sweet Pea and Me Sugar Snap Jewelry Kit. It's a bonding experience for a mom and daughter. So there's two necklaces inside, and one is a youth and one is for an adult. So it's for a mom and daughter, an older and younger sister, an auntie and a niece. It's for any kind of arrangement like that. So I've unpacked all my parts and pieces and we're going to get started. We're going to take our first step will be practicing making a loop. So here's my practice wire, which is in your kit. I'll unfurl some and cut off a length about three inches or so long. Using the cutter part of my pliers, I will cut a piece of practice wire with my cutter. So here's my piece of practice wire. And to make the loop, you take your pliers and your wire and you place the pliers about halfway on the piece of wire and halfway up the jaws of the plier. So you have your situation just like this and now you make an L or a right angle. So I took that and just gently folded it towards myself and I have an L. So at this point what I'll do is take this piece with my free hand and go up over the upper jaw of the pliers. At this point you rotate the pliers so that the upper jaw becomes the lower jaw and you follow through with that tail just until it meets the stem. Now before we go any further I want to show you it's important that this loop is large enough to fit over the end of the chain. So that's probably a little bit small. So before we go any further, we're going to work that gently up the uh, jaw of the plier. Just open it up a little bit. So we'll go through that one more time and I'll show you again how to make the loop. And now what I've done, because sometimes the cutter is a little awkward to work, I have a pair of scissors here. And that's perfectly fine for cutting our wire. So rather than using the cutter on the pliers, I used a pair of scissors. So about halfway, maybe a little more, maybe two thirds of the way up the pliers, you put an L in or you make a right angle. With your free hand, you go up over the top jaw of the pliers, rotate the pliers, and you continue on until you meet the stem. You don't go any further than that, just till it meets and looks something like that. Now it's a little off center, so with my pliers, I'm gonna go back in and adjust it just a little bit. And what I'm doing is just rotating it forward just a little bit. There we go. And that's the perfect size for our loop. So now we're ready to actually do one. You take your head pin, you thread on a bead onto the head pin, and you have that. Now you take your pliers and you go, I don't know, just a little smidge above where the bead, the top of the bead is about that distance. Now you make the loop or the right angle up over the top and I see that I am not working far enough up on my plier so I'm going to adjust it. Just like that. Follow through till you meet the stem. Rotate the pliers. There you go. And that's what you have. So now I'm going to show you how to close the loop with your pliers you hold the loop so that it doesn't distort when you begin wrapping the wire around the stem. And you wrap just, and just, just about till it meets the bead, which isn't very far. You do a couple revolutions around. Now you go in and you trim the excess tail, careful not to cut anything else, your fingers included. Uh, there you go, you cut that piece. And now you have a little bit left over that you have to tuck. If you can see that, there's a little bit of a tail. And it's crucial that you tuck that. So I'm gonna use my pliers, start tucking. And it's a little bit awkward sometimes because the pliers are after all round. So, but you'll get it, you just keep working at it. Keep rotating it around, tucking that tail. 
Keep tucking. Keep tucking. Almost there. There we go. We got it. You definitely don't want to leave any sticking out though because that'll poke you when you're wearing the necklace. Okay, so that one's done. Now we'll do the second bead so you get, you get to see how it happens. Again, so you thread the bead onto the head pin. So it looks like that. You move your pliers down to a little bit above the, the top of the bead. Halfway up your pliers, you make an L or a right angle, and with your free hand, you would go up and over, rotate the pliers, and continue around. And just give that a little adjustment. So there you go. That's what it should look like. Just like that, it looks great. Now we're gonna practice closing the loop. So with your pliers, you grip the loop. With your free hand, you begin to wrap the tail around the stem. And you stop before you get to the bead. Just about there. Now you get in there with your, with your cutters, your scissors, whatever you have, and you trim that wire. Careful not to cut anything else. Cut it off, and then you tuck it. And it's tucked. So there you have your two beads and your starfish. Now, as with our other kits, we've included a couple of spare parts. And in this case, we've included a couple of extra beads. So, you know, it's up to you however you want to make this necklace your own. You can do it the way we intended it, which was that a pearl goes on or a bead goes on, and then the starfish, and then lastly the second bead. But you can do whatever you'd like. You can do it so that it's just one bead and a starfish. You can do, um, a, you can do up to as many beads as you'd like. Again, because like I said, we included the, the uh, spare parts, extra beads. Now, I've run into a little bit of a problem, but I'm going to show you how to correct that. And this takes a light touch. You can make that, well, let's, you can make that so that it's a little narrower. But you definitely don't want to squeeze it too much because you could break it or pop it off. And then you get your bead right through there. So that it goes through there, or you can take another approach. You can open this a little bit by, you put the bead on the pliers and you work it open just a little bit. Okay, let's try it again. And that's why it's critical not to make your loop too small because you never know what you're gonna run into. Okay, so voila, there it is. So there's the adult necklace and there's the junior necklace. They look beautiful. Nice job. Well done. I'd like to thank you very much for purchasing a Sugar Snap jewelry kit. I hope you enjoyed learning to make jewelry as much as I enjoyed teaching you. Thank you. Bye.